Hello, 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 and welcome back to the channel. So after a whole day at sea, we have arrived at our first destination, which is La Coruña. It is in the northwest part of Spain. And right now we've just arrived at a small family-run restaurant called Momos, or Momos, for some tea and also some Spanish omelet. And then we're gonna go around and explore part of the region. So local tradition states that it was actually founded by Hercules himself. And this is the international gateway to the long forgotten kingdom of Galicia. We've never been here before and right now it seems very very sleepy. It's pretty early and apart from the people at the cruise and the locals there's not that many people around so it's a perfect spot just to do a little bit of people watching and to also just admire the beautiful architecture and buildings here because it's also known as the Crystal City. So you'll see countless bits of window panes all around the city and depending on the time of day the light reflects on it differently so this will make for some very very interesting exploring. So let's go and then have a little walk around and see what we find. The first thing on today's food itinerary is the Spanish omelette. It's one of my favourite things to order during tapas, but this one is different to the ones you may typically see in other regions of Spain. So as you can see, they've got more of a runny centre. A small village near here called Bentanzos, which is about 25 kilometres away, actually won the title of the best tortilla in Spain in 2011. And basically it has the same style of cooking, but just when the base is firmed up, they then quickly flip it to the top and then it just means that the inside is still a little bit runnier so it's a different texture compared to the more solidified versions in Spain. They normally fry off the thin slices of potato first and then they then mix it in with the eggs. This is my first bite of the Spanish tortilla. <laughs> It's got the texture of scrambled egg inside, but obviously the base and the top is a little bit more solidified. It seems a lot more buttery inside and it kind of melts in your mouth a little bit. I actually like it, the fact that the yolk is a little bit more gooey because it makes it a bit more moorish to eat, especially with bread. I feel like this would be so good with it. This is such a comforting eat because it's so soft when you first eat it. And you do have the little slight textures of the potatoes, but they are very, very soft. So it kind of combines with the egg very, very nicely. Each bite is a delight. Mm. Exactly what you want to start your day with. Although this is actually like my third portion of eggs because I've already had boiled eggs and scrambled eggs and now Spanish tortilla. So this is exciting stuff. <laughs> that tapas was only one euro fifty and in total with the green tea it was two euro sixty which is practically unheard of especially coming from London so that was a very very welcome start to La Caruña. We are now in Maria Peter Plaza, which is the main plaza here. It's named after Maria Peter, who's regarded as the heroine here due to her help during the Sir Francis Drake's attack here in 1589. And she reduced a lot of the losses of the people's lives. So they built this plaza and named it after her. But here you'll find the town hall, the council building, as well as a bunch of restaurants and bars, coffee shops. So imagine this would get very, very busy during sunset, especially if you're gonna have a glass of local wine, you're going to watch the sunset, to do people watching, this would be a good spot for that later on. This grand building behind me is actually the council building and you can see so much detailing and it's very very ornate. Although it was actually built in the early 20th century which makes it less than 100 years old and inside you'll find some conference rooms and also a clock museum which you can actually hear from time to time here but yeah it's a very very beautiful building. behind me is the Tower of Hercules. It is 180 foot tall and it's the world's oldest working lighthouse. It's been fully operational for nearly 2,000 years and it was built by the Romans. It is a World Heritage Site and also a Spanish National Monument. It's been a hot minute and it's now time to eat again. So now I am at 
La Bombilla. Well, I've searched online that this is a good spot to have very, very cheap tapas because it's only one euro ten per dish, which is very, very good. Because really most places down here are about six to seven euros, so it's a good way of tasting um, like lots of plates for very, very little money. And it seems that it's all full of locals as well, so that's always a good sign. Um, there is an English menu available, but I think the owners themselves and the staff who run it um, only speak Spanish. So yeah, let's go and give it a try. I've ordered this soup and apparently it's only available if it's in season but it's very typical from this region and it has various amounts of vegetables in it and it's served warm unlike the gazpacho which I've got over here which is cream of tomato soup and it's served cold we've got various vegetables we've got some beans in there and it looks like it's all been boiling together so it looks very very nourishing it looks very healthy comforting and also just a good one to have as well if you're feeling a bit poorly if it's a bit cold and over here we have the gazpacho so we've got the cream of tomato and it's also onion and cucumber in there as well served cold so I thought I'd order both because this isn't very typical of this region but it's a very typical like Spanish dish and this part is more regional so we can compare the two and Taylor orders some calamari which I am going to uh, lovingly steal so out of both soups I definitely prefer this one it's very very comforting it tastes healthy but it is very very salty but the vegetables have been uh, boiled down so it's very very soft to have and you've got like a bunch of veggies and some beans in there and this one is very very light you can taste the hint of the cucumber it is cold um, so I imagine it's good for like summer months but I personally coming from like a Chinese background I love hot soup so this one is different for me but I do appreciate it and it has its time and it has its place this one over here is the ham croquette and it's one euro ten and I normally love croquettes but this is a different shape to what I've had them like and over here we have some spicy red sausage and also with some baker's fries and some bread on the side as well so gonna tuck in and see what it's like unless it's just like a very typical spicy sausage it's not overly spicy so I think if you can't take spice then this is mild enough for you uh, to give it a try right now it's full in here but apparently it's gonna be even more busier uh, when people are coming off from work so yeah good spot to come to during off-peak hours to try a taste of Spanish food okay so now finish the food and now suitably very full and it only cost five euros fifty it's not gonna be like the best tapas you'll ever have but if you are new to trying Spanish food and you want to just try a little bit of everything without get breaking the bank then I would recommend La Bombilla and there seems to be a lot of locals there as well but make sure to go before everyone finishes for work just to you know you don't want to be like sitting outside and holding plates of food and you want to sit down a little bit more comfortably I'm gonna return back onto the ship and then we're gonna set sail to go to Bilbao tomorrow so the next video you see is going to be I think we've got a three or four course lunch and also we're gonna to go to the music museum and hopefully do a hike as well if the weather works in our favor we are now at Sabatini tonight which is the specialty Italian restaurant so we have a few courses to pick from including the signature collection of pasta so I think I'm gonna go for the spaghetti with langoustines, scallops, uh, tiger shrimp, fongole, black mussels in a cherry tomato sauce and then for the main course I'm gonna go for the lobster in three ways which includes the lobster tail, the lobster orzotta and the lobster bisque sauce my Italian is not that much better than my Spanish, but I'm trying, I'm trying. I got so excited by the pasta, I didn't realize there was a whole page of starters. So we have some cured meats and some rosemary flatbread to start with, and then we have a whole bunch of different appetizers, soup and salad. I think I'm gonna go for the burrata, which is the hand-formed cow's milk cheese with creamy lava center on tomato cabaccio and a balsamic syrup. If you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up to share with like-minded foodies and if you haven't already consider subscribing for more food travel and lifestyle video from this channel and i'll see you tomorrow goodbye i hope you're having a wonderful morning afternoon or evening